Hello everyone, this is the Lysol. Today's video will be the second in a series where I discuss early game teams you can or should be going after. This team is the original Boogaloo boys and girls fighting against the oppressive Galactic Empire. They're incredibly fun to play with and very accessible early game. It's the Rebel Fighters. I'm gonna break this down into nine categories. One, where to farm the shards. Two, the gear requirements. Three, kits and interactions. Four, ability mats required. Five, how to mod them. Six, who to use them against. Seven, defensive viability. Eight, possible alternates. And nine, other uses. As you can see, my preferred Mon Mothma team is Mon Mothma, Biston, Pow, Scare of Rebel Pathfinder, and Hoth Rebel Scout. They are incredibly accessible, almost ludicrously so. There's three of them are available from the Cantina store, which is a really easy farm. Uh, Scare Rebel Pathfinder is available from Cantina 1D, very, very early Cantina node. And Mon Mothma is available from a pretty early light side hard node. So they're a pretty easy team to farm the shards for. On its face, the gear required for this Rebel Fighters team actually seems like quite a bit with 900 Carbontes, 400 stun guns, 300 stun cuffs. But when you look at it, you realize that a good majority of that is for Scarif Rebel Pathfinder from gear 8 onwards. So you can invest into all of these characters to gear 11 at almost a minimal investment aside from Scarif Rebel Pathfinder if you want to be cheap. And he's totally usable on this team at gear 8 if the rest is gear 11, if you're using it in the right circumstances. I apologize for my big fat head covering up the graphic here, but the gist of these interactions are that Mon Mothma shares stats with these rebel fighters, she calls all of them to assist, and when she calls them to assist, they all have chances to push their turn meter. So you have a constant turn meter trend going. Not quite a turn meter loop, but it's really, really hard to get them stopped once they're started. And I'll have uh, links to all of these graphics in the description down below. But as you can see here for this team, you need most of the Omegas and three Zetas to get this working properly. Again, my big fat head's covering up the graphic, but uh, the total number of mats that you need here, you need 468 tier 3 mats, 84 omegas, and 60 zetas, 40 of which are on Mon Mothma, which is what's being covered up right over here. As far as modding goes, it might seem pretty redundant, but obviously you need to work on speed on all of these characters. For Mon Mothma, you want her to be pretty damn fast and needs to have some survivability, uh, so I recommend speed and health sets. For Biston, a lot of his damage is based on his potency, so I recommend three potency sets with speed, potency, and offense, and other stats you want to look for. Uh, with Hoth Rebel Scout, you want to do crit chance and crit damage sets with speed, crit chance, and offense. Uh, for Pow, you want offense, speed, offense or speed set, and a tenacity or a health set. As long as he's he's attacking a lot, so you want him to do a lot of damage. I would almost recommend going offense instead of speed. And then obviously with speed, crit damage, and offense as secondaries. For Scare for Rebel Pathfinder, he's the tank. You just want him to be as tanky as possible, so you want speed on him. Obviously, health and protection. Now, these are just the ways that I like to mod him. Your results may vary. All right, offensively in GAC, Mon Mothma is not a powerhouse team though it can do some work on offense. Now these are taken straight from GrandArenaScience.com, a great website for looking up counters. Uh, these are ways people have used Mon Mothma uh, with some B against some B-Team First Order, B-Team Jedi, a uh, countered uh, mirror match to Mon Mothma and against Separatists. Uh, I've also found luck against Bounty Hunters and uh, it's possible to beat General Grievous if you're modded properly and using the right comp. Later in the game, Mon Mothma becomes very soft on defense. There's a lot of teams that hard counter it. Uh, amongst those are Jawas, Troopers, here we got Bad Batch, another Mon Mothma team. 
Uh, Vader does it, Treya does it, Darth Revan does it. But when you're in the early game, Division 11, 10, maybe even into 9, most players only have one of these teams. So placing Mon Mothma on defense in conjunction with a Geo Brood Alpha somewhere else you know, on your defense will cause them to have to choose between which of the two they want to take out with that particular uh, counter, leaving them with only soft counters for the other. With the release of Cal Katarn in the game, I have started to rethink my Mon Mothma team lineup. So possible alternates in this team, and for usually I would think Scarif Rebel Pathfinder or Biston, I would put in possibly Kyle Katarn or Cara Dune. Both of them are newer kits that are very useful, and the gearing to get them to gear 11 is actually quite easy. Kyle Katarn requires 300 Kairos, but Cara Dune only requires 100. And their Carbantes, Stun Cuffs, uh, stun guns, droid collars, all of those things are actually quite minimal and they both add quite a bit to the Rebel Fighter team. Finally, we have other uses. Mon Mothma is not a super useful team in other game modes, but it does have its uses. You can use it in the Bespin Omega battles, the military might assault battles, although later in the game it becomes less viable for the challenge tiers and such. Uh, I actually used Mon Mothma to uh, unlock my Emperor Palpatine on my baby account. And it's also useful in Conquest, and now with the Omicron on Kyle Katarn, it's useful in territory battles. In conclusion, I would give the Rebel Fighters a B plus overall. Good use of multiple game modes, usable both on offense and defense in GAC. Relatively low investment, but high impact. Thanks for watching, folks. Be sure to support my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and following me on Twitch. You can find me at twitch.tv slash thelysol, where I stream Galaxy of Heroes most days around 6 a.m. Eastern Time. There's a link in the description down below. We have a lot of fun, so be sure to join us there. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one.